Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the sheet load showcase and talking about some collaboration team changes. I hope you'll stick around, see what the collaboration team created, find out who we're welcoming and who we have to say goodbye to. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look at what my collaboration team has created with the latest sheet load of cards. Just in case you're not on Instagram or you haven't gotten a chance to go around and check out everybody's sets. This month, because it is the start of a new term, I also have some team updates to make. Now, if you haven't yet downloaded the July 2023 sheet load of cards, which creates 12 cards and my first set is in front of me, I will have the debut video that tells you how you can download the free printable and my process video where I show you how I made these down in that description box. Also down there is going to be links to everybody on my collaboration team and I will also have links for the outgoing team members because many of them will still be sharing their creations online. Let's go ahead and find out who decided to step down from the team and do a little walk down memory lane for each. The first team member we have to say goodbye to is Barbara. She was part of our Instagram team and her handle is at one busy bee. While Barbara was a little bit newer to the team, she definitely made a lasting impression and will be missed. I will have Barbara's Instagram account linked in the description box below so you can go follow her if you don't already. Our next farewell goes to my friend Danny. She originally started out as a member of the YouTube team, but recently switched to Instagram. Now luckily I'll get to keep seeing Danny because she is my friend IRL, but don't worry, you're gonna get to keep seeing her creations both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I will have her links in the description box below as well. And lastly, we will be saying goodbye to Karen of the Karen Aiken YouTube channel. Most months you could count on her to show you how to turn the new sheet load into a fun set of birthday cards, which she usually donated to a local retirement home. And some of those sets even had a fun little pop-up surprise inside. I will have Karen's channel linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for your time and talent over the months. You are all definitely going to be missed on the team. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the collaboration team sets from this month. And while you're watching, make sure to keep an eye out for a newish collaboration team member. First up is Noe Me, who is at AZ Crafty on Instagram. She has used the July 2023 sheet load to create a fun set of birthday cards. I especially like the plant themed paper and accents. Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy over on Instagram, has also created a set of cards with some plant accents. For her, she has created 12 best wishes cards. And now I hope you'll help me welcome back Teresa, who is fresh and renewed with Teresa here on YouTube. She was one of our original collaboration team members and had to take a little hiatus. I'm so happy to have her back and I just love her cute set of cards this month. Next up is Toby, who is Biddy Penny here on YouTube, and she used this month's layout but created some 5x7 kind of mixed media cards with die cut elements and some stenciling. Yvette of Yvette Olea Creates 
use a patriotic paper pack, but turn them into non-patriotic cards. I love how it shows the versatility of pattern papers and how she has turned some on their side. Amalia of the Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia YouTube channel switched it up a bit this month by just kind of taking inspiration from the sketch and she made a set of landscape cards. I just love the fun image and sentiment on these too. Ashley, who shares here on YouTube at her Mint Twist Cards channel, did something so fun that I have to try it too. She used the same pattern paper for each piece on her card, but she made it almost like a scene across, just splitting it up with those cuts. Beth, who is Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube, created a whole load of holiday cards with the July 2023 layout. I love the variety in those pattern papers and the fun focal points. Carmen, who is Choose Joy with Carmen here on YouTube, decided to make a set of masculine birthday cards with the July 2023 sheet load. I think those papers she picked out worked perfectly. Chelsea, aka Creative Chelsea here on YouTube, made a set of fun animal cards. Those focal points were cut out of pattern paper, and I really like how her pattern paper strips in the background were adhered at kind of wonky angles. Karen, who shares here on YouTube on the Karen's Crafting Company channel, made a sheet load of thank you cards this month. I of course love the butterfly paper, and she actually created her own pattern paper for that gingham strip using a stencil I designed. What a nice touch. Lisa, who shares over on Instagram at, at scrapbookgirl, made another fun set of critter cards this month. I'm loving the bright papers and how those little animals are peeking up over that vertical strip. So cute. Mariah, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs on Instagram, shared a set of all occasion cards this month. I love those colors and patterns of her paper and the fun focal points. I just love seeing all of those cards in one place, don't you? If you do, a thumbs up on this video is appreciated. Don't forget, everybody is linked in that description box below, so you can go subscribe to them here on YouTube or follow them over on Instagram. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.